What is up, everybody? Um, I know it's like insanely early in the morning, but there's some shit that we need to talk about. All right. As many of you guys know, I did leave YouTube. I did delete my channel. But I did it to get away from a lot of the negativity that was being fed to me. And I needed to get away from it. But that's not what this video is about. This video is me explaining to you guys. Because a lot of people have this idea about how copyrights work. But really, they don't know the truth. Those people, like, for you guys that are, like, asking is that how they work, these people that say they know how copyrights work and that you need to be monetized, they're full of shit. I'm here to tell you how they really work and to save you guys from being put through what I got put through and losing out on money on your copyrights. So all y'all motherfuckers that say you know about copyrights and how they truly work and that you have to be monetized, I don't know who told you that, but they're full of shit. Like, let's put it this way. Let's say you're a YouTuber, right? And you do, say you do artwork on YouTube. And you make a drawing. And you post that video up on YouTube. When you upload the minute that you created that video and that YouTube went live on that video went live on YouTube, that video is your intellectual property. You do not have to be monetized to do a copyright claim. Like let's say right now I sat down. And I made a random ass beat on FL Studios. And that's all it was, just a random ass drum track. You know, nothing major. Like, let's say that I, let's say I made a drum track and I uploaded it to YouTube. That drum track would be my intellectual property. The same with all the videos that people have stolen from me. Like all those videos of me that people have made about me that have my image of them and how these people go around using videos that I made. That property is my intellectual property. Not if I change it, just like you do. Like that money that they are making off of my videos. But it wouldn't be your video anymore. By all technical standards, it's supposed to be going to myself. Now, I sat down with my business partner and good friend, Live Giant Films. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I did the math. In the past two years, if I, my channel was not deleted by these fucking assholes and I was doing good for myself and I did the math with him. I sat down and I went over this shit with him. He was with me on FaceTime, on Facebook. If my channel's had not been deleted and I still had a revenue if I still had a revenue stream coming in if I had a stream of revenue coming in meaning a, a way to make money okay but you and if that money was still coming in in one month alone I would be making half a million dollars off of views alone. Oh my god. And the reason for that is because I did something over the last couple of years that nobody in the entire world has done. 
And you can fact check me on this. Okay? You guys can fact check me on this. On average, it takes the average normal person that does not take YouTube seriously or is just starting out, it takes the average person a minimum of 16 months to hit a thousand subscribers. 16 months for them to hit a thousand subs. And me, I did it in less than eight weeks. Two months. But you keep losing it because you keep losing that your That is channel. unheard of. Dropping it. I guarantee you right now, I can upload the randomest video on YouTube and next day it'll have at least a couple hundred thousand views. <laughs> I can tell. This is what I could do. I could right now, if I really wanted to, I can make a YouTube video saying, you know, Marty is a piece of shit, which he is. Nicholas Beagler is a piece of shit. I'm not going to lie. He is an internet bully. But that's besides the point. I can make a video saying, fuck you, Nick, or fuck you, Marty. And upload it to YouTube. And next day, it'll garner 600 plus views. And that channel will have at least 700 subscribers next day. Straight up. See, people have this misconception about how monetization and how copyright claims truly work. Claims aren't shit, though. See, the reason why people and YouTube claim that you have to be monetized to make a copyright claim, the reason why they do that is very simple. It's all about the Benjamins with them. It's all about the money. See, YouTube wants in on a cut of your videos. So they make it look like you have to be monetized in order to do a copyright claim. No, you do not. Like, let's say that one of you guys uploaded a video to YouTube, right? Let's say that you uploaded an AMV, and if you don't know what an AMV is, it's an, it's an anime music video. They were very popular in the early days of YouTube, and I'm still very much a fan of them, still. But let's say that somebody makes an AMV, and you take that AMV and you re-upload it, and you claim it as your own. That person that you stole that video from, that you took that video from, they can, by all legal standards, go back and hit you with a copyright claim. Unless they change Reason it up. Reason being that they are allowed to do that because that is their intellectual property that they created. The same with you guys. If you guys made a video and you uploaded and you it and people's somebody music took all the time. it and re-uploaded it, on their channel, you by all legal standards, by legality, every legality in the book, and by technical standards, have every right to file a copyright claim. But I'm changing your video right now person. as I speak. By all rights, if that person takes your video and re-uploads it to their channel, and does not give you credit whatsoever, and they claim that it's theirs, they are committing blatant copyright infringement. See, they don't tell you this. People don't tell you this because it's all about the Benjamins with them. It's all about the money. And I'm trying to help you guys on Facebook, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be on YouTube as well. I'm trying to help you guys from having to get put through what I got put through. See, people like Marty don't want to... People like Marty don't want to 
pay people like me what we are owed. Because he knows that I could smack him with a copyright infringement claim very, very easily. Oh my goodness. So every time that you are like doing karaoke and you're singing your wretched little voice out and you're using somebody else's music, then you should be in trouble also for stealing somebody's music, correct? Like I said, had Marty and them not done what they did, I'd be making at least a half a million very easily a month, mm. if not more. <laughs> and the reason for that is very simple, because I am consistent. I am very consistent with what I do. So don't let these motherfuckers out here fool you. Alright? Do not let these people like Marty or whoever else is going to probably comment on this video fool you. You do not have to be monetized at all to file a copyright claim. Do not let them fool you. Because it is all one big ass fucking lie. Yeah, I do apologize if I sound a little bit tired. That's because I just got done filming a music video a little bit ago. Oh Jesus. Um, I'm currently working on some brand new music, a brand new music video, all that shit. Um, I sent it in to my buddy over at Lifetime Films. So I got done filming all the stuff for that, so I'm sorry if I sound tired, but... I'm here telling you guys the oh fucking God. truth. Okay? I'm here telling you the honest to God truth. That if you make a video. Like I'm doing now. And somebody takes that video and re-uploads it. And like does not now. give you credit. They are committing copyright infringement. And by all legal no. rights. You have every legal right in in the world to file a copyright claim against that person. So to y'all that think that you know about copyrights, no the fuck you don't. Live Giant Films knows more about how social media works than you guys will ever fucking know. So as I said, I'm just making this short video to help you guys out, to keep you guys from getting fucked over the way I got fucked over. So, like I said, if you guys, you know, are an upcoming YouTuber or are thinking about doing YouTube, this is just a little bit of advice for you to help you out. If you ever do come across that situation of, you know, you find yourself in a position where Somebody's taking your video and re-uploading it to their channel. And not going through the proper procedures of saying, Oh, this video is owned by, or this person created this. If they are not giving you credit, they are committing copyright infringement. Now, what I do with song covers, do you not notice how every song I say the name of the artist or the band? Or I say the name of the song. And then I state the artist's name or if people know it well enough, they'll know who it's by. Reason for that. Because when you do a cover, you, when you do a song cover, you have to say whether it's physically speaking it or if it is in the description, you have to put the song title and who it's by. 
Because if you do not do that, that record label that, that or that artist or that... What about when you like put music in your video? If you put, um, I do not own the rights to this music, does that make it okay to put the music in the video? I'm just asking because I've seen people do that. And that's why I haven't added some music because I always get like a copyright claim, which isn't really much. But I'm just curious if I put that, like I do not own the rights to this song. If that makes it okay to put the song in my video. Then can turn right back around and hit you with a copyright claim. And all these people have been robbing me for years. All those videos that you guys see of me that have my face in it and they're videos that I made, those videos by all legal standards belong to me. All that money that these people are making off my videos should be going to me by all legal standards. <laughs> that money should be going to me. Oh, well, I guess they are hands? stopping the video, which, and, you know, and speaking on it, which is transformative, yes, mm -hmm. but they are not giving me credit. Oh, my God. Fuck off. And if you do not give the proper person credit. I'm never giving you credit for shit. You are committing copyright infringement. Suck a dick. How about that? If you take a video and re-upload it and do not say, you know, like, whether it's an AMV and you make an AMV video with a song and, you know, you don't put, you know, who it's by, or the name of the song, and then the Can artist, just or whatever. Explain this, a little fucking toad. They're committing copyright infringement, and that's what these people have been doing to me for the last two fucking years. It's committing copyright infringement against me, and costing me money that I could be using to not only help my family, help my friends. I could be using that money. To boost my career. I could be using that money. To work <laughs> alongside. The nonprofit organization. That I've been a volunteer for. For the last 14 years. Which is Operation Smile. I could be giving money to them. To help make them out. I could be doing stuff for people. You haven't done shit for them. But make like a video. I could be helping other up and coming artists. That could use the help. People such as my best friend, Tyler, and my best friend, and who he lives with, who's oh. another best friend of mine, Matt. Oh, you want to help your friends? Okay, now I, I feel bad. I could be making very real money. And see, <sighs> the thing about it is this, okay? This is what these people are not telling you guys as far as, they, as, far as I go. This is what they don't tell you. This is what they refuse to tell you because they know that they're in the wrong. And they can argue it all they want. They can argue the facts all they want. But the fact still remains that I am speaking the truth. Alright? I'm telling you guys the very real truth. The reason why these people do not <laughs> want me making any money off of any of my stuff is very simple. Because they know... If I make any amount of money, then I can easily go in, hire a lawyer, and have them shut down for what they've been doing you to don't me have any money and for so a many other people. Geek. I just <laughs> found out tonight that Music Biz, that Nicholas Beagler, aka Music Biz Marty, has been attacking a special needs child. On the internet. Well, it's not really a child, but he has the mindset of a child. Because this person that he is attacking is special needs. Music Biz Marty Who? is a drug addict. 
if you guys go back and watch the video of him coming here to my house, he has a bottle of Adderall. And Adderall okay. is a very addictive drug. Maybe he needs it. Maybe he's, he's a drug it. addict and an alcoholic. Watch his videos where he is drunk, slurring his words, acting paranoid and psychotic. Which is how all these rumors about me got started. That is how these rumors of me got started. I should, by every legal right, be making at least half a million a month off of my clicks on YouTube alone. Wow. Whether they watch the video for 30 seconds, a minute, or they watch the whole damn thing. No, you're thing. not on YouTube anymore, so don't worry about it. If Marty and them have not, did not fuck me over and have my 1,000 subscriber count channel, by the way, which I have gotten 1,000 subs multiple times. Not recently. If they did not have those channels deleted, I would be making half a million a month very easily. Because I am such a well-known name and I am very consistent wow. with what I do. All that money that I am losing out on, I am losing because of these people. But what Music Biz Marty is doing to this new kid is disgraceful, disrespectful, oh, and it's a low that I wouldn't even sing to. And I don't think any of the other trolls would sing to the level that he is singing to. Music Biz Marty, or Nicholas Beagler, I should say. Sorry, Nick. You know what? I'm just going to refer to you as Nick from now on. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of your YouTube name anymore. I'm just going to straight out call you Nick because you don't deserve the dignification of being called <laughs> Music Fizz Marty. So I'm just going to call you by your real name, Nick. See, Nick has this thing. What he's doing to his kid is awful and very fucked up. You see... This special needs guy that he's speaking with gets a social security check and is complaining that his mom is not giving him the correct amount to live off of each month, which is understandable. But what Music Biz Marty is planning on doing is this. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I meant Nick. I'm sorry. My bad. But what Nick is doing is very fucked up. Nick plans on taking this kid to court to sue his mom for the money that this kid is losing out on. And instead of giving this kid the money that he is rightfully owed, Nicholas plans on keeping the money and robbing this kid of what's rightfully his. And how do you know this? The reason why is because Nicholas Beagler is a drug addict. And I am not making this up. You can go back and watch the video where he was on the way to my house. And you can see and hear him talk about his Adderall. And how he needed to get a refill while he was here. Okay. Nicholas Beagler is a drug addict. That makes bets that he cannot pay off. And is an alcoholic. And the combination of the Adderall and the alcohol over the years. It's, it's made him insane. It has made him I love how you just know every person. Psychopathic. Nicholas Spiegler Crazy. has shown... Signs of psychopathy. As 
well as mental illness. What up, Josh? Oh, I know. I am. Like, and I am letting go. I am letting go, Chris. I'm just, I'm speaking the truth. All right? I'm speaking the truth about what should have been said the whole time that people might not know about him. Because I don't want people to get caught up in the same situation that I got caught up in. Because nobody deserves what, what I got put through. No one deserves what that poor kid's going to get put through. So for anybody out there that is coming up in YouTube or is doing music or has any thoughts of doing any kind of, you know, social media, just be very wary of Nick, aka Music Biz Marty, because he will fuck you over. He is not to be trusted. And as I said, as for you guys that do want to pursue a career in YouTube, I want you guys to know the real legalities and legitimacies of copyrights. Like, you can take my friend Chris here, for example. He's a YouTuber himself. And he can tell you that I am right on everything that I say. If somebody takes a video of yours and re-uploads it and does not give you the proper creditization, meaning the proper credit, they are committing copyright infringement against you. And no, you do not, I repeat, Is creditization you a word? do not have to be monetized to follow through with a copyright infringement claim. If that person takes your video and re-uploads it without your permission or your consent or your knowledge, it does not matter how big of a YouTube channel you are. Remember that, you You say. have every right in the world to go after them with a copyright claim for copyright infringement. I'm just trying to help you guys out that don't know this stuff or are thinking about doing social media or doing YouTube for a living. And don't get me wrong, doing YouTube is great. It's a great, great platform. But I don't want you guys getting screwed over the way that I got screwed over. I want to help protect you guys from that. See, I didn't know about these things until it was too late. And I don't want you guys that are coming up to get put through the shit that I got put through. Like, I want to help you guys avoid being put in that position. So, whoever out here is telling you that you have to be monetized in order to file a copyright claim. No, you don't. You do not have to be monetized to get a copyright claim or to file one. So don't let them fool you. Whoever it is telling you guys that you have to be monetized in order to get a copyright claim is full of shit. They clearly do not know what they're talking about. At all. They have no clue what they're talking about. 
But with that being said, y'all, I'm about to bounce up off here and relax and probably crash for the rest of the night because, like I said, I just got done a couple hours ago. Oh my god. Uh, filming some scenes from a brand new music video that <laughs> myself and Life Giant Films is working on. Um, I just finished up. Well, yeah, I finished up just in case uh, doing the live vocal work for the video. I finished all the scenes up that I needed to finish up, and now I'm done. I just gotta email Life Giant the video footage, which I'll end up doing in the morning, so he can help put everything together and we can no get everything cares, going. So, yeah. With that being said, I love you guys. Um, I don't know where the music video is going to be That's released. Creepy. I do not know. But when it does get released, I promise you guys, you are going to love it. I can promise you guys, this video, this music video is going to blow your fucking mind. I cannot wait to see it. I can promise you guys, this is going to be a music video that is going to make you think. And it is going to make you understand... Just what these people have done to me. The premise of the video is this. I can give you guys the outline of the video. I can't tell you like what's going to be in the video. But I can give you the premise of what it's going to be about. And what it's going to represent. So basically the music video is going to be about myself or this person that I am portraying slowly being transformed from a human into a man-made machine artificial hmm. intelligent smart robot where'd you get that idea now what that transformation represents is the person that's being transformed in the video is me. And over time, I am slowly turning into this monster that these people have created. And it shows my progression from being this normal person to slowly glitching through and slowly over time becoming this robotic thing which represents the monster that people like Marty and all these people made me into. So I promise you guys, you are going to fucking love this. I'm definitely excited for the video. Like, I'm very excited for it. I cannot wait to get this video done. So with that being said, like I can promise you guys that you are going to freaking love this video. Now, where it'll get posted to, I'm not sure. I have to wait till post production, and then I have to talk with Life Giant and figure out where it's going to go. As far as uploading it, I don't know if I'm going to upload it to my regular channel or my new channel I should say that I have going or if I'm going to upload it to here on you Facebook have a new channel. or where I'm going to upload it to I don't know yet but all I know is that I'm excited for this video to release I'm excited for this song to drop um what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna end up uh re-recording the song in a different way and probably reshoot it, but that's fine. I can easily do that. That's a literally, that'll literally take like maybe a few minutes to do. <laughs> if that. But all I know is that you guys are going to love the song. You guys are going to love the video. I'm excited for it to release, man. Do you want to tell you something? The last music video I released was back in 2018. 
That was the last music video I ever released. So I'm a bit overdue for a music video. But like I said, you guys are going to love this video. I promise you that. When this video drops, you guys are going to be impressed. I promise you, you guys are going to fucking love this. But with that being said, y'all, I am about to bounce off here. Chris, if you're still watching, bro, I'm about to hit you up and call you. If I can, if not, I'll text you. So, I love you guys. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and help you guys out to keep you guys from being put in the same position that I've been put in. And to save yourself some time so you don't get caught up in the situations that I got caught up in. And you guys end up getting screwed over. So like I said, I hope that this vice had helped you guys. I hope that it did, and I hope that it keeps you guys from getting screwed over in the future if you are thinking about doing social media or YouTube. I hope that this does help you guys. And with that being said, I love y'all, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning here with the first ever Coffee and Chill live here on Facebook. So, be ready. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for the first ever Facebook version of Coffee and Chill right here. I love you guys, and I'll catch you all tomorrow, man. Peace.